Hey everybody, Orfeolus here. Welcome back to some Pokemon Black and White 2. Last time, we continued our Unova trek once more, going through the places and all that jazz. This time, we're going to be exploring none other than Mbasa City and a bit more. I know this is kind of random, but meh. Starting things out here in Mbasa City, you can finally access this place known as the Battle Institute. What this place is, is pretty much a series of five of five trainers in a row. You don't get any BP, it's just a score attack thing. It's actually really useless, I don't recommend it. It's kind of pointless. If you want to do any competitive battling, you can go in there. You can just see how well your team does and everything. I just don't see any point in it. It's just there, just to be there. Next up, uh, I don't know if the trainer cycled out there. I know that inside the stadiums, the trainers also cycle out there. So if you go to the Pokemon stadiums, you can go you can go in there and you can fight trainers. So I'm going to be in the 60s now, so if you need more experience, definitely recommend it. Thankfully, the level gap in this game isn't as harsh as it was in Black and White 1. Next up, here in, here in the train studio, we can talk to you. You can call me the judge. <laughs> that's not my real name, but that's what everyone calls me. Because you have this weird power I have. It's a gift, really. I can, I can dis discern, judge, you might say. The overall potential of individual Pokemon. So this guy in evaluates her IV values. I've already kind of went through this. Above average, HP, fantastic, yeah. I'll tell you which is your highest EV. Akane. Oh yeah, perfect defense IV. I forgot about you had de perfect defense IV. Decent. Oh, you have perfect speed IV? Huh! <laughs> you yeah, above average. Good attack IV. Trouser. Above average. Speed. Alright then. So that's it really there. You can access to your other super trains now. That too. So that is roughly it here in Nimbasa City. Nope. No, Yancy. Route 16, we're not going to get to this episode. I'll save that probably for next, actually. So, coming out this way. Pokemon Outbreak, yeah, yeah. At Route 5. Oh, hey, this is Route 5. I guess we can head to the grass quick. So, here in the tall grass, you can find yourself with Swarm Encounters. You're not a Swarm Encounter. So, yeah, I'm just trying to see what level they're at. I think they've ranged level up to 55, which could be pretty nice. Again, I'm not really too keen. I don't really have my notes. Next up, trainers here in the post game. I'll try to remember which ones have which. I think I know most of the Pokemon that we need for the C-Dex, anyways. Well, I'm not going to be too buggered in trying to find it. Just know it's... Just know that they're alright Pokemon. I think Route 5 was actually terrible. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, there's not really much there in Nimbasa City that's new. I'm just going over a highlighted tour. Run right away. I think we'll have time for a legendary encounter this episode. So, new phone here? Nope. So, I'll meet you guys in Driftvale City. Alright, in Bop and Driftvale City. There's not much that has opened up in the city exactly. But one thing I will mention though, right here in the back. I never mentioned this in the main game, but in the back here we have two trainers, two NPCs. I wonder if it understands now. Trainers battle with Pokemon, not to hurt them, but so trainers and Pokemon can understand each other better. It's the simplest way for them to do this. The more serious the battle, the more true nature of Pokemon and people becomes apparent. I don't understand N's pure and innocent feelings. I feel very happy he figured out what he wants to do with his... Uh, ...and do on his own during his travels with the legendary Pokemon. So yeah, yeah. Two forgettable NPCs. I forgot they stashed these in the back. These two NPCs in the back. I did. I forgot about them. Again, they're like important NPCs. They have unique sprites that's that's not uh, that's not anywhere else in the game. They would have made very interesting NPCs, but alas, they get shoved in the back. Isn't that what it, isn't that what what uh, Game Freak does with any good Pokemon game? It's shoved in the back with good ideas and and uh, come back them with with crappier ideas. Isn't that how Gen Five started? Gen Six started. Here we get ourselves a rare bone, and up ahead we have Clay Tunnel. We won't be going to Clay Tunnel yet. 
I'll be saved for the future. Because that place has a lot of stuff in it. A couple episodes worth of stuff, actually. So that's it here in the main part of town. Next up, we can come to the south. Because here in the Pokemon World Tournament, once you beat the game, new stuff has opened up here in the actual tournament part. So, here in the tournament part, you can partake in this one, I do believe. Participate. So you can take place in different trainers. You start with the Unova leaders. Once you beat the Unova leaders, you'll be t you'll unlock new tournaments once you beat them. You'll go from the Unova tournament to the Kanto to the Johto to the Hoenn to the Sinnoh. Once you beat them all, you have to be I think it's one at a time. You fight gym leaders from there in the past, including re remade music from them. Once you beat them, you unlock the um the next level in the tournament. The uh, World Leaders Tournament. Or something along, along the lines. Where you get where you fight a matchup of all the gym trainers there. Once you beat all the gym leaders, you unlock the world champions, where you fight champions from other regions. And they include remixes of their boss themes. It's badass. It's hard to get there because, well, it's Eevee trained Pokemon. It's rough, but if you can get up there, if you can beat the world tournament champions, you get yourself another star on your trainer card. Yeah, if you're able to get up there all the way, it's actually really cool. I mean, if you get yourself a very good team that can sink itself well, you can get yourself further. Next up. Another thing I should mention is that there's other additional tournaments. Mixed tournament and rotation, not rotation tournaments, and uh, rental tournaments. Where, where you'll get yourself fancier tournaments with different trainers depending if, you, if you're able to beat a rental tournament and a world tournament. And such. Something I should mention now, because that could be very useful for, uh, I don't know, exploring and such. So that is it here in Richvale. Next up, I'll meet you guys in Mistralton City. Here in Mistralton City, not much has opened up except for one little thing. We can come all the way to the back and we have Skyla here. Hey, what's up? You know, since you're here, I'll tell you a little secret. Skyla, can I ask you a favor? Sure, what is it? I've decided I need a PR makeover. I want to try out new ideas with you, Skyla. Uh, PR makeover? That's right. Here's the thing. I, I make what everyone thinks is cool in reality, right? Well, I get to do it. I get to do what I want to do, while being a difficult model. While being a model may be difficult. Most importantly, it's fun. Wait, right? but the hard part is really hard. I mean, everyone judges me simply because of, based on my appearance. People say I'm reserved, and I don't look like the type who would tell jokes. So I've been thinking about it constantly ever since then. A sophisticated joke. How should I put it? My, my look suggests that I'm not a lot of fun. But I'll t tear down that mistaken image with my own hands. I'll say something silly and give someone an opportunity to call me out. So we can all have a good laugh. Uh, okay. Okay, get a load of this. Throw in that... Throw that misbehaving clink into the clink. Coffee Grigus is so cool, don't you... <coughs> agree, Gus? You brought me those fossils from Clay. Did you bring them on Clay away? Alyssa? Those are just a bunch of bad puns. Where's the joke? Exactly, if I make bad puns when I'm supposed to be telling a joke, doesn't it give people even more an opportunity to tease me and start a funny back and forth? Um, that's a little too sophisticated for me. Actually, it's really hard to understand. Really? I guess I'll have to rethink my fashion first. Sounds good. Hey, as long as we're hanging out, surely you don't mind having a Pokemon battle with me, right? You bet, and don't call me Shirley. Okay, Alessa. And Alessa won! <laughs> He uses a secret from Alessa, okay? So, a bit more backstory into, uh, Alessa's change. I still like Alessa's original model. It's still a really nice change. And a shape up of, uh, values, I guess. Next up, darn it, here on Route 7, there's something that has opened up to us now that we've visited Heart's Cave. Starting up, 
Can I finally get a Pokemon? No. Okay. I'm just looking through these rods just because. So, I guess next up we can come down here. Because we have ourselves Celestial Tower. I think something new might have shown up here. So, Celestial Tower. Nothing else has changed with the major asterisks. There is a Fun Fest mission that involves you ringing the top of the tower. For some reason, it spawns five powerful NPCs that have Pokemon in the level 60s. No idea why, but they're blocking the entrances further up to further up the place. It only occurs in that mission, they just spawn there for some reason. I'm not for sure the logistics. This mission requires you to take you to the top of the tower. So that's it there. I recommend you healing. And might as well bring Charles up to the front. I have a reason for that. So, here on the top floor. I never saw the refill and I made it this far. Damn. So, we can make our way over. And head up to the top. Here at the top of the tower. Ladies and gentlemen, the legendary Pokemon, Mesprit, level 65, levitate for the ability. Copycat, Extrasensory, Cute Charm, and Future Sight. Azelf as a Pokemon is a mixture between sorry, Mesprit's Pokemon is a mixture between Azelf and Uxie. Azelf is very is very um, offensive based. Uxie is very defensive. Mesprit is the middle of the road, being a nice balance of attack and defense, making it a very well-rounded Pokemon. Doesn't excel in anything. But his general strength is pretty good. I brought Trouser up because you want yourself a Dark type Pokemon. Dark type Pokemon sees these Pokemon pretty nicely. So, let's go ahead and try ice punching it. Legendary Pokemon are very difficult to catch. Another ice punch. Charm, what is your attack? So, it may prove difficult. Ice punch. Alright then, so you're in catching range. So again, hard to catch, but really worth it. I have me a bunch of Duck Balls, um, Heal Ball to match your color scheme. So yeah, catching these Pokemon are going to be pretty difficult, but still very nice. So it's, so very well rounded stats makes Mesprit a very good Pokemon to use. Um, what else do Duck Balls? Um, I don't think I'll need a Repeat Ball. One. No, no duck balls. So yeah, catching Mesprit will be difficult, but if you're looking for a good side attack Pokemon for the post game, Mesprit is a very good choice. Dive ball and saving dive ball for something. For what? I don't know. Sure, Ultra Ball. So let's go. Let's go start checking the main balls, I guess. One, two. Three. <laughs> Is this makeup game? Are you making up for all the crap you threw at me? <laughs> when Messer flew, people learned the joy and sadness of living. It was the birth of emotions. <laughs> this is the emotion of confusion. Much better than any confusion or frustration. Back in Pokemon Platinum, my god. Messer was a pain in the ass back in Platinum, but you are much easier now. Wish I could say the same for the next legend we might be going for. That did not take long. So, next up, we could head to Isra City in this general area around here. But, we're saving that for a bit later. Next up, um, Lundemus Town, Reversal Mountain don't have anything new. Well, Reversal Mountain has something new in the post game, just we don't have access to it yet. Undela Town has something, Caitlin's Villa. Don't go there. Um, Mandela Bay, don't go. Nothing new. I don't think there's anything else new. Lacanosa Town. Mandela Village Bridge. Has, Village Bridge has something new. So I'll meet you guys there. 
here in the wonderful Village Bridge. Once you beat the game, we can head into this house. Never mind. I thought you could go into the house and there was a fisherman there that will give you a side quest for daily dive balls. Might not be until after you get the rod because the rod won't be available for a while. So yes. Next up. Let's return to Obelizid City, see how things have changed there. Techno music is back! The kid the guitars is back. Obelizid City is kicking once more and all better. So Drayden, do you have anything to say about this? I was just reminded of Iris. Yes, the champion, that Iris. Yay, I did it! Haxorus, thank you! I won because of you! Well done, Iris. What What did you want to talk about, Grandpa? Oh yes, I was thinking about the past. I traveled all over the world looking for a successor. I even went to remote places such as the Village of Dragons. That's where I met you, Iris. Yep, I was the strongest. Yes, I was surprised. You were one with your Pokemon and battling with so much joy. Just watching you made me smile. Your opponent felt disappointed by their defeat, but at the same time, they enjoyed the battle. I was complete. It was completely natural for me to decide I want to make you my successor. I'm so glad I came to Yanova. There are many different people and many different Pokemon, and you know what? In the Village of Dragons, people take pe people take living long as a Pokemon for granted. I was surprised some people in Yanova didn't think that way. I found a reaction to be a breath of fresh air. And a condition to to leave the Village of Dragons. You wanted to broaden your your experiences and become the champion. So so as I promised, I've been training you as a trainer and, and as a gym leader. An, an order directly from Alder came as I was training you. Alder was smiling though. He lost the end and retrained himself. He asked me to help him with his special training, but it was ghastly. He wanted to to become an immense obstacle to, for you, the new champion. For that alone, he pushed himself incredibly hard. Otto was really, really strong. <laughs> <laughs> Not in that battle. And if, even when I, even when I felt a, a bit weak, he encouraged us. He said that even when their backs are against the wall, my Pokémon have an intense look in their eyes. So that's why I've won. But I feel like I have a lot to learn. Don't forget that feeling. Now, if I may change the subject, when you came to Opposite City, I gave you those clothings, right? You're the champion now. It's alright to dress up a little. Are these new clothes? Okay, I'll change them right now. Wow! It's such a flowing dress! What is important is your mental preparation. As the champion, Iris. When I was little, Pokeballs didn't exist yet. Sometimes Pokemon would run away from awful trainers who didn't try to understand them. But you were fine, right? I can tell. Your Hexers loves you very much. I've already decided. I know what kind of champion I'll be. There's a myth in Santa that says the reason why Pokemon jump out is because they want to thank people. I'm sure that we and Pokemon have helped each other and enriched the world ever since ancient times. These memories have been engraved in each person's heart, each Pokemon's heart. So I want Pokemon and people to get closer and closer. As the champion, I want to tell that to everybody. Good. If anyone can do it, you can. I wonder what kind of champion she'll become. Alright then. And with that, I think we made pretty good progress this episode. We managed to catch ourselves a new legendary Pokemon. And, I think with that... We're done for the episode, so might I just say next time in Pokemon Black and White 2. Instead of returning to Himalayo City. What? I'm trying to think. So let's go to Himalayo City. Let's continue our journey where we left off. Himalayo City and what lies beyond. Maybe even having a rough battle ahead. I'll see you guys then. And I'll be here enjoying my guitars. Enjoying the guitar once more. <laughs>